And we're back. It's us again. <laughs> Surprise. Did you miss us? <laughs> you totally missed us. So I think what I was saying, and I'm not sure when it cut off, but we were talking about how Sarah and I started working together and that I had my one-on-one -on -one meeting with Sarah and I was like, yes, this person's going to be my leadership coach. So in making that decision, I mean, that was a pretty big ask on my part just to ask that of myself to commit to yeah. the growth that you facilitate in your clients so can you can you talk to the audience a little bit about what we've been working on some of the things that we've been talking about yeah and I think that you know one of the things that I'll say is that it sometimes it's hard for us to invest in ourselves mm -hmm. it's hard for us to invest in ourselves with our time with our money mm -hmm. with asking other people and so a lot of the work we've been doing is um, helping you really get clear about mm -hmm. who you are, who you yep. want to be, what's the impact that you want to have, yep. um, how, to, how to amplify and leverage that impact, yep. um, amongst many among other things many that other I can't things. share because of client <laughs> confidentiality, even though she's sitting <laughs> right here. here. But I think one of the things I was really looking for, or looking for was somebody who could be my mirror. I wanted somebody to hear what I was saying and take that and say, okay, here's, here's what I'm hearing and here's where we can go even further or here's how we can really dive into that thought. And I found my, you know, in the beginning when I started working with Sarah, I found myself, I was tired a lot. I was tired, <laughs> not, not from working with Sarah, but like I came to you very tired. Oh, yeah, I think. yeah, absolutely. Like emotionally tired. I'd been yeah. giving a lot to my mm -hmm. business mm -hmm. and I hadn't been giving a lot back to myself. Mm -hmm. And, and I think that's because I wasn't super clear on what exactly I wanted my big impact to be. And I was kind of spreading myself. Uh, God, I love technology. I right? think that I just got a phone call. I hope we're still on here. <laughs> um, <laughs> is where we started where you thought you wanted to go yeah oh my gosh it's totally different now yeah and and I might argue even more powerful I think so too so I started um, I'm not gonna share the intimate details of that but I started thinking my business might go in one direction and it's completely shifted and actually what we're talking about today which is the empowerment portrait session giveaway is really the direction that I want to head in so um, when I think about my business and what I've been able to do here in Des Moines with all the support that I've had one of the most amazing things that I hear constantly from clients and from people who see photos is that everyone in the photos looks so confident and they look so much like themselves and not I mean getting in front of the camera is a risk I th it's a risk it, for me it's a risk every time yeah and I and one of the things that will always stick with me that you've shared as you've talked about your experience is the fact that frequently people apologize for themselves mm, think about that people warn her People warn I'm me. not. I'm not photogenic. Yeah. I, I mean, they warn her about yeah. themselves, the which is just like it breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. And then by the end of it, you you know. Yeah. And then they're you, you've kicked by the time that we've done the photo shoot, um, you know, people are they're okay. They're okay with themselves. They know I'm okay with them. Um, but it's that that feeling that need to warn themselves and or warn me. And I'm like, I've seen it all, and it's all good. Like right. there's there's not been a a, a bad moment here. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to do for December, um, my very dear friend, Rachel Peterson, who helps me manage my social media was like, we should talk about self care. And I was like, I'm not that great at that. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> like, and I was like, you know what I'm really invested in is helping other people feel confident. And I think that that's something that my photo shoots do for people and something that I really wanted to focus on is like, how can I really help somebody else that's looking for confidence? So when I designed the Empowerment Portrait Session giveaway, I really was looking for somebody who makes a huge impact in the lives around them that maybe has had some difficulties, maybe wouldn't be the first person to raise their hand and say like, want to get a photo shoot because there's so many of us who and myself included I find myself wanting to hide from the camera all the time which is like I can't do that like I cannot allow myself to do that yeah but there's a lot of people that don't photograph for a living that can hide and I wanted somebody who you know everybody I was reading through oh my gosh Sarah and I both read through these nominations Phenomenal. you guys and there were some tears mm -hmm. and there was just like the emotion that was poured into these nominations was huge. And I think that that alone, and I really wanna give a huge shout out to the people who took the time to nominate these impressive people. Because yeah. if you're taking the time to nominate these people, you are equally impressive. And I think 
from who I saw that was nominating, just some really empowered people mm -hmm. were, were empowering other people in their lives. And I think that that's so beautiful that we can cause a chain reaction and we can really help the next person feel really good. So without further ado, ah! okay, I'm gonna announce the winner. It wasn't, I, I this was it not wasn't easy. easy. There no. how many total? 20, there were 20, 25? Five? Yeah. 25 nominations. 25. It, was a, it was an absolute honor to be able to read them. Yeah. And um, it wasn't easy. There was, so Sarah and I read them and then Rachel Peterson read them as well. And we all had several favorites yeah. like it was this is we, we loved them all yes these were these were amazing and um i'm gonna find a way so each each nominee is gonna get a, an email saying like here's what the wonderful things that were written about you and they get a couple of other really special things so i'll say that afterwards but i just want you all to know that there's one winner but I'm hoping that each and every one of these people that was nominated gets to feel really special through this process. So, the winner, ah, her name is Mary Carroll, and she lives in Des Moines, Iowa, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Mary. Um, her daughter, Angela, who lives in California but is from here, um, I believe they grew up in Pleasant Hill, nominated her mom, I'm just gonna read a little bit about this. So, Angela writes, my mother is so beautiful, but it's on the inside where she shines and strength, well, let's say, let's start by 2005 when she beat stage four breast cancer. She is legally blind, but spends endless days making blankets for those in need. She has a rare form of leukemia and has to fight to keep her healthy blood cells in her that are good. And in addition to currently waiting for a chance for a new kidney, she's also um, finally beating colon cancer. So I had, I called Angela about an hour ago to tell her that this was happening so she could tune in or tell her mom because I don't think her mom has any idea this is going on. And I got a chance to talk to Angela about her submission. And the second I told, oh, okay, I'm gonna get, okay. Keep him composed. Woo! Oh, don't, uh, <laughs> don't stay composed. Uh, the composed. second I told Angela that her mom was winning, she burst into tears over the phone. So we cried a little bit on the phone together. And she told me a little bit more about her mom. And um, Angela recently moved away. So she, in taking her, you know, her mom's grandkids to California has been really difficult, the separation of family. And she just kept saying, you know, my mom is one of those people that things keep happening, health things keep happening, or there's just these, these difficult roadblocks in her life, but she's always optimistic. She always turns back to her crocheting for other people, and she's always smiling, and she shared with me that her husband just the other day, Angela's husband, the daughter's husband, that um, said out of the blue, like, I wish there were more people in the world like your mom. So this is a woman who's very, very loved by her family. I wanna read a couple of other things that were written. Um, Angela writes, when we were kids, my parents would always tell us how fortunate we were, but that we still had so much to share with others. So I, I don't remember being rich. We were by no means were not, but my parents often cleaned out our pantry and fridge to take food to those that were hungry. My mom would take old clothes to people that she felt could use a hand up. And recently my dad put an old chair on the curb. He noticed late that night that a young couple with two kids um, had pulled up and the young father was trying to put the chair on this roof of the car. And her dad sprinted outside and stopped the man and told him that he had a truck and that he could take it to wherever it needed to be taken. So they also put a couch in this truck and ended up like taking this couch and chair to this couple that was obviously struggling. Um, and this is just one example of the amazing things that this couple's been able to do together. Angela also told me a lot about um, Mary and her dad and they've been together for almost 50 years now and we were talking about Angela won't be able to come to the photo shoot with her mom because she's in California but she's like my dad will come yes so dad's gonna come dad's gonna like help do shopping um, and like be there through the whole process and I'm hoping this can really be a celebration of their almost 50 years together as well oh hi Caitlin I know it's really it's an impactful story um, I want to share one more 
one more thing that they said. Um, she is the true definition of a humanitarian, a warrior, and above, um, above all those other things, an amazing mother. She never gives up. She sees 10 paths mm. to a way out of a dead end. Just like, can you stop on that? Yeah, that was she it. She sees 10 paths to a way to a dead end. We're all thinking about resolutions right now. Maybe yeah. that's a good one for us to all practice. Absolutely. And the fact that she's had so many things to come up against and she can t she's never giving up, never giving up. So um, her girls mean everything to her and her um, and she's never in those months that she only had a few short months to live and she beat that every time she's never given up so I'm super excited to photograph Mary not only is Mary gonna be photographed but she's also going to get professional styling by Ivy Boyd she's also gonna get a two-hour clothing consult with Christina Davis so either Christina will come to your home or she'll take you shopping whatever Mary needs to feel really confident about this shoot and it should be really, really great. So, Angela, thank you so much for nominating your mom. I see yeah. you on here. Thanks for watching. And um, there's a few other things that we're going to do for the people that were nominated because this was super special. So I've got a few other giveaways. Sarah. What do we have? Who is I it? I have Miss Teresa. Oh. Teresa Tomka, yes, so Teresa was nominated. Um, if you don't know Teresa, Teresa owns Kitchen Collage in downtown East Village. She's been in the East Village, I don't even know, Teresa, how long you've been in the East Village, but you are one of the very first businesses in that area of town, and you are a staple. Um, I know Teresa very well, and I know that she supports everyone in her life and I can't I'm so excited so Teresa you have won a hundred dollar gift certificate to cabby which is super excited um, on compliments of Christina Davis who sells cabby clothing and would be happy to help you out with that so Teresa I'll send you an email just in case you're not watching and then we have one more special gift and it is <gasps> Amanda, Amanda. Kurovsky. Ah, did we say that right? Amanda Kurovsky. Um, you are running a professional headshot session with me, so you can contact me for details with that. That's my 30 minute professional headshot session with three retouched files, and I cannot wait to do that for you. Amanda, I don't know personally, but I have met her sister in law, Sarah, who's the mayor of Pleasant Hill, and Sarah was the one who nominated Amanda and was just talking about Amanda's strength and her beauty and all of the things that she's been going through in her life and um, I'm super excited about that. Yeah. That's awesome. That was a Congrats. super surprise. Yay! So there's something really special that Sarah wants to do for every person that was involved in this entire thing. So, oh, sorry. Yes. No, you're good. <laughs> Sarah, can you tell us what you're going to be offering <clears throat> to every single champion? Yes. <laughs> so um, uh, where do I start? So we wanted to have the opportunity to honor and to work with and to give a gift to everyone who is nominated mm -hmm. as well as everyone who nominated. Cause like mm -hmm. Whitney said, that is, uh, there's, I don't know, I'm at a loss for words for the <laughs> fact that um, all of you took the time to nominate amazing women. Yeah. So every single person who is nominated and every single person who nominated somebody will get a chance to participate in an, an intensive and wonderful and inspirational workshop facilitated by me <laughs> and it will be focused on how do you become an even more powerful champion to lift people yes. up this is some work that i'm very passionate about um, it, it is in line and spirit with this whole thing they are already championing each other so yes. it's just a chance for them to learn even more strategies and ways and to understand why it's so important for us to build each other up mm -hmm. and not just build each other up but to build ourselves up mm -hmm. as well when i so, think when we when we have the space and the power to build other people up, that's when we know we're doing a little bit better. Yeah. Because I think that in times in my life when I haven't been doing so great, I keep a lot of that energy for myself. And then I say like, oh my gosh, like I, I, need, to, I need to reach back out. And it's at times when I'm able to give more to other people that I feel a little bit lighter. Yeah. So I think it's Yeah, that's... are you are you building a ladder or are you building a pyramid, right? right. Like are you lifting right. other people? It's a what the, the name of it is a, do you build up or do you break down? Mm -hmm. So we want to make more builders in this world. I love it. We're, so yeah. we're builders. We're builders.
So, so be a builder with us. Be a builder with us. So if you nominated somebody or were nominated, and I will um, be following up with everybody via email. It's going to be a lot of emails, so give me a day or two, like a lot of emails. Um, but I can't wait to communicate with all of you and see how we can continue to work together. But Sarah has one final tip mm -hmm. to leave us with today. So for all of you who are watching or who will be watching, who mm -hmm. want to become more powerful champions, mm -hmm. because the reality is, is that um, we can come a far way on our own, but sometimes it's when somebody else holds up the mirror and helps us see that powerful self mm -hmm. that helps us grow even more. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to teach you a really simple technique in our final moments together and I'm going to practice with you with me. We're practicing. Okay. Yes. We're practicing. Um, typically when people give acknowledgments they will say things like you know what I love about you. So what I love about you or what I appreciate about you mm -hmm. is this. Right. So it might go something like this. Whitney, mm. She's, <laughs> what I appreciate about you mm -hmm. is the fact that you are able to help people see this amazing powerful side of themselves that they don't maybe normally see. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. And I mean that. Now that's not a bad acknowledgement. That's a really powerful I felt lovely. Thing. Yeah. So here's a way to make it even more powerful. Is instead of making it about you and your appreciation, change the statement from I appreciate to you are, mm -hmm. right? So I'll show you the difference. You ready? I'm ready. So instead of saying, "Hey, I appreciate this about mm -hmm. you." You show people their most powerful self. Statements are great. Mm -hmm. Statements are great yeah. because you just you hit right at the core of what you're you were delivering the same message and you state but. it as a truth mm -hmm. instead of an opinion. Oh, that's right? that's the that's it. That's it. So mm -hmm. you're saying it as a truth, so if I see this truth in you, then that means that it's there and that helps me see that truth, mm -hmm. right? So if there's somebody who you're like, oh, I just, what I love about you is just how caring you are, instead change it to, you care deeply about mm -hmm. people. And I promise you, it will hit their heart and it will just hit their whole body and just make them feel all good and squishy inside. And don't we want people to feel good and squishy We want inside? people to feel good and squishy. Not we're, squishy, we're, you know, I mean, I, mean, I, I don't mind. Maybe a little squishy, I don't know. <laughs> um, hi, Carla. Yay. So thank you so much, Sarah, Thanks for, for coming me. on. Thank you for helping me with this process yes. because I was very overwhelmed and needed some additional opinions because you guys made it really, mm -hmm. really difficult to choose. So thank you again to every single person who participated in this. Yeah. I cannot wait to show you the photos from this empowerment session and to meet Mary and to talk more to Angela. And we will be following up with all of the nominators and the mm -hmm. nominated to talk about this championing yeah. workshop. Yes. How to be a great <laughs> Great How to be a great champion, yeah. and um, Sarah and I will be there to 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 watch this happen. Yeah. So, thanks, ladies and gentlemen. It was a pleasure seeing you today. Bye. Bye.